Okay, so one of the things I do on the side is just go to you know top performing websites that I find randomly or sometimes through Ahrefs and such other tools, and try to figure out what's good and what's bad about them, so that you know I do the good things and I avoid doing the bad things, uh, which is a very easy way to uh, you know learn and uh, you know uh, succeed at whatever it is that you're doing. So one such website I just recently found out is PickYourTrail.com, which is an upcoming startup based out of Chennai in India. And they're doing some amazing things in uh, travel. Uh, and they have a great blog with about some 10,000 pages indexed on Google. Uh, so it's, I'm assuming, like a content marketing team behind it. Um, but it's interesting what they've accomplished. And I'm trying to see uh, what could be wrong or could be better. Uh, and let's just do it in 10 minutes. OK. Great, so this is one of their most traffic generating pages, most beautiful places to visit in Philippines. That's the keyword I'm assuming they're targeting. So this is a very typical WordPress kind of a setup. So my initial thoughts are that it looks very generic like any other you know, com competitor or you know, market leading website out there. So for example, in India, it's makemytrip.com, which you know, they have like a very similar setup on their blog with uh, you know, CTAs and everything. So this looks even very travel blogish kind of, like very amateurish in my opinion, uh, which is not a bad thing, which is actually good. Um, but there are things that could be improved. Of course, as soon as I land, I see that it says it's a uh, pick your trail blog. Um, I would have loved this to be actually the main logo itself without the blog mentioned because, you know, blog is actually a technical thing. A lot of many people uh, who are the target audience which is, an, again, an assumption that I'm making, uh, wouldn't bother if it's a blog or the actual main website. So you, would, uh, you wouldn't want to confuse them. So just removing the blog part from here and just keeping the main brand itself uh, would have been great. So this is just unnecessary confusion. But it's not a deal breaker. But I just saw it. That's the first thing I noticed. So just mentioned it. And of course, it looks very, um, you know, on your face kind of salesy with, you know, the CTA on to the right which is sticky, which is great. And of course, the uh, the stripe on the top for downloading the app, um, which is great. But, you know, I, I personally, I hate it because uh, at this point of time, uh, you know, a few seconds or a few minutes into visiting the blog, I'm not ready to make that decision yet as to whether this is a trustworthy website or not. I need more validation to be shown before I make that decision of, you know, either hanging or giving my uh, phone number or email address or whatever it is. And of course, downloading the app. Um, I need more trust factors. So I scroll down and I see that um, you know it's a typical listicle format where they have things one, two, three, four, five with image and description. Uh, the images look a little uh, boring or very amateurish because you know some of them are wider, some of them are uh, you know long. So I'm assuming that this most of these were picked up from you know Unsplash or Wikimedia or you know such. Um, places and so that that tells me that uh, someone didn't spend another five or ten minutes uh, editing these photos or making them standardized or making them brand specific which is uh, again a bummer personally to me because I would like that extra effort to be seen for me to be able to you know like the content and the the text too is very uh, you know, it's too blocky. There's too much text in every paragraph. Every paragraph is just one big paragraph without any line breaks or uh, spacing out, which makes it a little bit boring to me. I, mean, I want to read the stuff there, but it's uh, it's too much. So I'm just going to skip all of these. And as I scroll down, I see that it's the typical thing, right? You know, you have your top 10 list and this is just that. So probably a, a team worked on it or maybe an agency worked on it. Luckily, they are on, I believe, the first page of Google for the keyword, which is most beautiful places uh, in Philippines. But I'm sure this is going to decline in traffic with time because there's going to be a lot of folks who will hit the back button. Uh, so the other reason I'm going to do that is because um, the person who's written this is just a first name with no validation to their, you know, uh, who's this person or expertise. Nothing is mentioned here as in, is this a content marketing person? Is an SEO person? Is an actual travel uh, guide or someone with an expertise there? Uh, no, it, it fails to, it fails to uh, express that or mention that. So that's a bummer. And of course, no photo. 
uh, that's a red flag again. Uh, of course, 108 posts published. So I'm assuming you know this person has invested a lot of time in it, but I still don't have a face to remember or um, any any bio or any social validation to follow. So that's a big red flag. So one of the main thing that actually bumps me is that um, it says most beautiful places to visit in Philippines. That's a promise, right? So it's a very high intent keyword, as in someone who's searching this on Google probably has the idea of booking their tickets to Philippines in the next um, 7, 30, 60, 90 days. Um, but at this point of time, uh, Pick Your Trail is not able to convince me that they have something uh, new with their offering. It looks, if you strip off the greens and the branding and the name, the brand name that is, uh, it looks pretty much like any other travel blog or, you know, like your competitor, Make My Trips blog, right? It doesn't serves the purpose of convincing me uh, that, hey, we have something new or something unique or something important that you shouldn't be missing about Philippines with us. It doesn't tell in the CTAs on the right-hand side, uh, on the top, on the stripe, nowhere in the content or nowhere after the content even. Actually, after the content, it's a little confusing because they have a very generic kind of a slider here that has uh, you know all the other Netherlands, Northern Lights, France, London, all these different packages, but nowhere does it mention Philippines. Uh, at least I couldn't find it after even after a few clicks. So that is a little concerning because I would have assumed that you would show me something like, hey, uh, we know you checked out every other Philippines packages, but hey, we have something new that you should check out. So some kind of gimmick that will make me click on that one additional link and take me to a custom page or, you know, landing page for Philippines, right? That is missing. So you, you know, lost that chance of um, uh, me going deeper into your website. So more pages per session is probably a good idea to consider as KPI, but no, that's missing. And of course, I have your, uh, this typical footer with a bunch of links thrown in for whatever purposes, SEO or whatever, right? Somebody told it works or everyone else has it, so I'm just gonna do it kind of a thing. Um, but it's not satisfying my intent as someone who's Googling uh, places to visit in Philippines. So these are my overall reactions or initial reactions. Uh, not sure if it makes sense or not, but these are the things I look forward in um, you know, content. Uh, SEO, of course, comes second, but it's the, the whole experience that actually matters. And SEO kind of complements that with uh, the elements and the tags and you know all the other bells and whistles you can think of the HTML, which is pretty much solvable, uh, as I say. Uh, but what is the high intent, the, 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 the bigger intent or the bigger purpose of this whole content, right? That is missing. You just did this for SEO purposes or someone told this works, you get you know ranks on Google. Of course it does, but then when it comes to the question of whether it actually gives you business, I doubt it. Most people who would land on this page would just hit the back button and go back and choose uh, something else that they are more comfortable or familiar with, uh, but not pick your trail, unfortunately. So if this CT on the right hand side said something like, hey, um, customized Philippine packages or, you know, so give me something that would give me FOMO, right? Like, did you know that these are the, like, you could get it at this price or there's this amazing resort that you, you don't want to miss some like a hidden gem kind of a place or something right then you know that would make me interested because i'm hot right now i, I want to book this right in the next 30 60 90 days i don't know but then you're not giving me a reason to do that so initial impressions we'll see you with another website see ya